Well, I went in the house, started up this video, and realized I had no intro. So here, this is uh, the 1955 Cooper mower. I have a 55 and the 57 Cooper that I'm both restoring, and this is the one my grandfather bought new in 1955. It got backed over, so yeah, that's why the deck got busted, and I had to repair it. So I'm going to try and... Uh, get it finished up in the next oh, couple weeks or so just working on it as I can but anyway this video has been over probably a two or three week period so if it's a little convoluted sorry but that's just the way it is when you record 30 seconds here 30 seconds there over two or three weeks you just don't remember like I don't remember what was in the video three weeks ago that I'm making today so there we go. So I'm going to go in and edit up this video, so enjoy. I ended up getting new wheels for both the Cooper lawn mowers. So I'll get these scuffed up, uh, masked off, and painted yellow. And I think I'll get the handles and the engine for the 1955 that old one my grandpa bought new. Out of the attic of the garage, I can start getting them ready. I'll just paint. I think I'm going to do them both at the same time, so I can paint both engines at the same time, both sets of wheels at the same time. This is the 1955 deck that was broken, and I just thought I'd work on some of the areas where it was repaired. I'm going to try and get all this lettering back. and. My brother tried to weld it, and it, there's some weld melts in here that I gotta grind down. Uh, got a lot of that dremeled out. It's pretty, pretty good right now. I gotta fix the C and the S, and there's no I there at all anymore. I got some of this. I thought I'd give it a try to fix this. I ground this off pretty good, where it's pretty even, but I gotta fill in some of that cracks more and rebuild some of these letters. And I thought I'd use this. This is, uh, we'll stick to aluminum. You know, it's, it, it sounded like it'd be a good product for what I need to do here. So I'm going to mix some up and slap some on, let it dry, and give it a little sand, drum, or whatever it takes. And I think that'll fill most of it. And then I just got to build up that eye. And I think the rest of the letters will be fine once I sand them out. We'll see if I need to add more. I will. And then I put some body filler up here just because there's a few little low spots give that a sand out probably have to give that one more coat but this mower deck doesn't look like it's going to take a lot of work gave it a quick mask I, I scuffed it with a scuff pad and then I just put the tape over and used a razor blade to cut around the edges on both sides and I got some uh, paint here we're going to go out and try and paint the wheels. This is the closest yellow I could find to what uh, was, you know, close to what the mower had. And that's what color it is. So um, I'm going to go out and spray it. And then hopefully I'm just doing one right now. Just see how it comes out. And if the one comes out good, then I got a whole slug of them right there to scuff and mask and get ready to paint for both the both the mowers i'm going to do them both at the same time i think this decks and you know pretty needs work so that's why i'm doing this and when this is ready for paint i can tear the other one apart get a quick bead blast and i'll be ready for paint that's the first coat i'm going to let that tack up a few minutes but that color looks pretty good and then we'll go with another coat and then i think i'll just go ahead and scuff all the wheels out Get them all ready to paint at the same time. There's a second coat. This isn't quite as yellow as the original yellow, but it's definitely close enough to to uh, pass. I mean, it's a lawnmower, and that you know, I'm not going to use automotive finish or have paint mixed to match. Uh, you know, I'm just finding what I can at the hardware, and uh, that'll make it all good. You know, if it the engine, I'm going to paint with automotive enamel, so the gas or Anything like that doesn't take the paint off. A lot of the spray can paint just comes off with gasoline. And uh, so that's why I'm going to use acrylic enamel on the engines. That's the original yellow. 
So you can see it's a little yellower. I mean, it's obvious. It's definitely a yellower paint, but we won't tell anybody. That really looks good enough. I scuffed all the rest of them, so now I got to start masking. These ones are all painted up quite nice. And I'm just uh, masking these wheels off one at a time. I just kind of, I'm going to go around and do them all like this, and then I'll mask the rest up because I probably won't paint these until tomorrow because I'm running out of time here. Yep, painted up the wheels for this mower too. Just why, you know, I'm waiting on things for the Galaxy, like the seat cover and stuff. The rest of the chrome. Plus, it's been kind of nasty out. I don't want to buff the paint. And I'd like to back the car out to do that, but you can see the wheels look pretty good. And uh, these are for the other mower, for this one. I have, I, I've been repairing a lot of lawn mowers. Have this been a? These are all lawnmower small engine spark plugs. They're all brand new, and I have another bin, probably with more plugs in it than this that are automotive. And uh, I always buy spark plugs at estate sales if they're inexpensive. But I want to work on this mower deck a little. I might sand that out and do a little sanding on it now. I didn't like the way that JB Weld finished on the mower deck there so I did it with a little uh, auto body filler and I put a second and final coat there that is where this whole front area was broken away as you remember if you go back and look at the earlier video on it there we go they're all painted both sides look good I can uh, work on the, maybe the handlebars and the mower decks and I'll do the engines last this is just about ready for paint. That's all pretty much all. There's a couple little, couple little specks I see here that could use a. No, well, maybe not. That's how I I still have fresh bondo mix from where I was putting it in one other spot. I mean, it's a mower deck, so I don't need to. It's a lawnmower. I'm not going to go too hot and wild on it, but you can see that front part. That, you know, this was completely missing in here from from uh, you know up here and across and around. So that that looks pretty good. And uh, this back part where it was busted from where it got backed over, I'll sand this out because I put a piece in up here for strength. This is still slightly damp so I can smooth some of those out less sanding. But um yeah that'll I think this will look good. And there was a couple little spots up in here that just maybe I think that's just now set too hard to use but I think that'll be fine. I think any filler primer will fill in any pits. Like I say it's a die cast, rough die cast lawnmower housings it's not a car body so i think that's about as far i'll sand that out when it's uh dried up tomorrow and that's ready to i think pretty much all ready to prime and paint we'll put some primer on these letters here and see how they come out if they uh you know show up and stuff and we'll go from there you know because the top of these letters are painted with yellow this is painted with yellow top of all the letters all these ribs are yellow and uh kind of a neat looking old lawnmower but anyway it's you know my grandpa bought it new in 55 so i my dad was so upset when it got broken i promised him i'd fix it so here i am fixing it it's almost done well i think this is pretty much all ready for primer and paint i got a final coat on there got most of the letters looking like they're supposed to that's all finish sanding and uh, yeah I think the deck is pretty solid and ready so I'll get it primed up maybe tomorrow this video is probably going to be over a couple weeks but of doings but anyway tomorrow I'll get it primed up and I'll start when I get time getting the other one apart so I can get them painted off so I'm going to give this a quick uh, self etch on both sides and then I'm going to paint this side with rust-oleum gloss red and the other side with uh, 
the crinkle paint, but I'm probably just going to do this side today. I don't need to put this stuff on very heavy. It just gives something to, you know, bites into the aluminum. I might have to get another can. I think this one's getting empty here. got my hand that time. Yeah, it's time for a new can, I think. I'll do the other deck. I'll get time to get that other mower part and do it. I just got to bead blast it and and do all that kind of stuff, but I thought I'd just work on this one seeing it's I'm waiting on that seat cover once that seat cover comes in I'll be back on that but until then I just for something to do There is still a few little odds and ends I need to do on the galaxy Let me go get the other can and we'll do the other side of the deck I'll let that dry while I get the other can shaken and ready to spray I'm probably going to put some sandable primer on that so I can see, you can still see where there was some damage but you know it's going to be crinkle painted so a lot of that will get hidden up with the with the uh, crinkle paint just want to make sure I get all sides of these ribs all right we'll let this dry up half an hour or so and I'll paint the other side with um let me make sure I get that lip too. We'll paint the uh, underside with the rust oleum and then it'll be uh, ready to crinkle paint this end pretty much all there and like I say a little filler primer right there. I'm gonna put a little filler primer on the where the body filler is. You can hear the storm sirens going. It's May 1st they're doing testing the system there debris falling in this. I put this on a little heavy and then I can sand it out really well. Let that dry overnight before I sand it. filler up here too. I'll put some on. Alright, that should do it. I'll let that dry and then we'll spray some red on the, the bottom and if it gets a little overspray on there so what we'll be sanding it off anyway. This has dried out pretty good so I'm going to paint the underside with this red.
think I'm going to have to go get another can of run to the hardware here shortly. This was just paint I had in the cabinet. The color under here doesn't really matter how good it you know matches. I just want to protect it. Protect it from yeah, future corrosion maybe. I'm just gonna put the rest of this can on under here. This way I get all uh, everything you turn the deck around and stuff and you can see any places you missed. I'm just going to use the rest of this rattle can up. It's almost just completely empty. In fact, I think it is empty. Okay, good enough. We'll let that dry out here in the sun a couple hours and then the other side will be ready for paint when I uh, finish sanding that filler primer. Alright, I'm going to put this crinkle paint on. i got to do one coat this way, one coat this way, one coat that way, maybe one coat that way, and then we'll maybe put it in the oven at 200 degrees it states. It says to put them on heavy, so that's what we're going to do. So I had to wait five minutes between each coat. All right, we'll let that dry five minutes. We'll come out and put another coat on it. All right, that's been five minutes. Let's hit a second coat.
sorry if I'm in your way of the video, but that's just the way it is. Okay, that's coat number two, and I can already see some wrinkling starting. I'm going to let that dry five minutes and then put coat three on. And you see how it's starting to wrinkle? It's looking good, and we still got one more coat to go. It's got two more minutes to dry, and we'll get the final coat on. Yeah, it's really wrinkling up now, so we're going to put our final coat on. It's almost like it causes a, a paint left. It's kind of neat the way this stuff works. The heavier where you put it, the more it wrinkles. So, and it says right on the can, if you get an area that doesn't wrinkle, just put more paint on it. Says you can go up to four coats, so maybe we'll we'll do a fourth just because we can if we have enough paint. I think we'll call this good. I'll just put a little extra up here. And just get a little extra around the edges just because. I don't know if I can get enough. Alright, let's let that dry up and see how it looks. Let it go five more minutes and if it needs another coat, we'll go another, but I don't think it will. It looks pretty good. I got a little bit of a wrinkle run there, but I think once it's all wrinkled up, you won't notice it as much. And who cares anyways? Like I say, it's a lawnmower. It's not a, a car. They they didn't make them perfect, but the part that, um, that I repaired came out really nice that and that all right we'll let it wrinkle up now really wrinkling out nicely you can see some of the spray strokes but it'll be fine once it gets a little dirty from use and stuff and these uh all these ridges and lettering and all these ribs will be painted yellow and the edge around the deck will be yellow the wheels will be yellow the brackets that hold the handlebars on, I'm just going to paint with the red I painted the underside of the deck with. And, uh, and i got to take the engine off the other mower because I'm going to paint both the engines at the same time with acrylic enamel. I'll paint the other deck when I have the engine off. The other deck doesn't need anything but a quick bead blast. And uh, I was going to put this in the oven and bake it for an hour at 200 degrees, but it's an inch too 
wide that it would fit, you know, width-wise, but depth-wise it wouldn't fit in the oven. I went and measured everything, so we'll just let it sit here in the sun. The can of paint states to let that paint dry three, four days before you go handling it, so I'm just going to let it sit out here in the sun today. I'll put it in the garage and just let it sit for the next oh, week or so. In the meantime, I can get the handles apart and the engine off the other mower and you know get everything ready to uh, paint up with acrylic enamel on the engines and get the other deck painted. Well that's it for the mower video. I'm just uh, kind of putting up videos as I do. A lot of you wanted to see the restoration of that old mower so the deck is in red right now and in the next few days I'll fix the oil leak on the original Briggs & Stratton 6BHS for that deck. It uh, needs a new crankcase gasket between the crankcase and the base. It has it seeps so just ever so slightly seeps oil out and it gets the mower deck all dirty and greasy kind of so I'm just going to fix it and then I'll clean the engine all up, be blast the blower housing, uh, get everything primed and ready for paint. I'll take that other engine off and get that ready for paint. Paint both the engines at the same time. Sorry for the neighbor's lawnmower, but I'll get them both uh, done up at the same time, both the engines, and I'll paint the other deck at that time too. So we're making progress. Uh, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, hit that 348 engine icon. And thank you for watching.